YouTube, what is good? So today I wanna to try something out. I got this idea in my head and I wanna see if it will work. I wanna use the Fujifilm X-H1 camera with my Fujifilm 24 to 70 millimeter lens to do some street photography. Today is Sunday, the Falcons are in town, which means people are gonna be all over the city. A lot of potentially cool photos to make and I think a zoom lens combination like this is gonna be perfect for a scenario like today's. Try to figure out if 24 to 70 is a good street photography lens because it's not the traditional thing that you would use. But first, before we get going on that i have to speak at this event today it's pretty cool need that need that this and i definitely need this i know i said 24 to 70 which is technically what this is but on fujifilm it's a 16 to 55 if we're being technical i just want to say thank you to everyone who picked up a pre-order of the new photo book i cannot believe how quickly those 100 copies sold I, I was blown away. I was sitting there looking at my phone like, what? They were, half of them were gone in 10 minutes. It was so insane to experience that. I'm gonna have some information really soon on when the general release of the book is gonna happen. It's gonna be sometime in the next few weeks. It's gonna be fully stocked up on the site. There's gonna be a lot of copies. So if you didn't get the pre-order, it's all good. You will be able to get one then. But for real, I cannot say thank you enough for everyone who grabbed one and made that pre-order such a success. It means a lot to me, for real. So you see this building behind me that says Annex Bookstore. That is where this event is going down today. I'm doing about 45 minutes of talking today. I'm gonna to talk a little bit about photography, a little bit about social media, and then I'm gonna open it up to a Q&A. This is an event put together by Pete's Coffee. They're not a sponsor on the video or anything, but apparently today is National Coffee Day. Who knew? So they're making this event that kind of incorporates a little bit of yoga, a little bit of socializing, a little bit of photography, and uh, really happy they made me a part of it. So I'm gonna get in there, do my thing, and then we're gonna get this afternoon of photography going. Cue the uh, montage. All right, four and a half hours later, talk is complete. It went really well. If you want me in your city doing a talk or doing a Q&A, let me know in the comments. I would love to do more, especially of the Q&A side of things. I feel like it's really beneficial to people who have questions, who want to learn about photography, social media, YouTube, all this stuff. I love doing a good Q&A like that. So appreciate Pete's Coffee for having me out today. Let's finally go shoot. So the same goal today is pretty much any time I get out to shoot, I'm hoping to make one photo that I truly like, that I'm really happy with, and then hopefully create a set of photos to tell the vibe and the story of the day. Today's story being the Atlanta Falcons Sunday game day in the city. So I'm walking towards where I wanna shoot. Notice this light on the wall. I wish someone crossed in front of that. Deep walk to get to where I think people are gonna be. Notice this like flailing sign thing, whatever you call these. Love this scene right here, but just nothing ever happened in it. We have the ice cream stand on the left, the crazy flailing guy right there. We just needed someone to walk through. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. So I move on closer to Centennial Park, make this photo right here, which utilizes the zoom capabilities of the lens. It's a terrible photo. It's sucks, but it does utilize the compression that you can get with a 24 to 70, which is cool. So I walk up more towards the stadium. Notice this person's head peeking up behind this wall right here. So I wait for these two people on the right side of our frame to cross in front of it. We get this kind of weird juxtaposition of people in front and behind the wall. They're wearing a Falcons jersey, so they do fit with the theme on the day. Not the strongest photo, but in my head, it could be a photo that I end up using in a set of images later. So I'm walking towards the stadium. Notice Notice this person looking through this window thing right here. It was a tough composition because I wanted to get the stadium in there. And honestly, I needed something maybe a little bit wider, maybe a 20 millimeter, but that shot was pretty cool. I'm gonna talk more about my thoughts on everything on the day afterwards. Find this composition right here. It's got some lead lines, but eh, nobody crossed in front of it. Didn't really do it for me. Not as many people out as I was expecting. It's definitely a busy day, but 
I kind of missed the prime window of people. Trains crossing by right here with the city. Eh, not good. Notice this guy in the Deion Sanders jersey. Try to make a photo there. Have these guys walking towards me, and I snap off two shots by just shooting from the hip. I didn't even look. Love the way this came out. This is what I had in mind kind of on the day. This is what I was hoping for. So I crossed the street looking for something to hopefully round out this photo set. I feel like we have some decent stuff so far, but I need something to really say that we're at a Falcons game. So I noticed this tailgate down here, and once again, because we have the zoom capability of this lens, I'm really able to get a good composition that's closer up to really highlight the fact that, hey, in this set of photos we are at a Falcons game. This shot is important to a set of images for sure but I think I did end up leaving with that one photo that I liked. See this person over here in another Falcons jersey make a photo able to zoom in to get closer and it didn't look good either. Notice down here there's this cool light crossing in front of this yellow crosswalk. We do have someone walking through but I needed them to be a little bit farther into the frame to get their shadow so this is something we're going to save for another day but because we had the zoom capabilities I was able to get a pretty decent composition and that was kind of the main takeaway so far Start it up. now I consider myself a pretty mentally tough person but the heat today broke me So we're on to day two of this 24 to 70 experiment. Yo, yesterday broke your boy. The heat, it was just too much. I know I already mentioned it, but I can't believe how shitty I felt when I finished filming yesterday. Sorry, I love filming out front, but it's always so noisy with cars. We're back here where it's nice and quiet. Yesterday was a pretty interesting day of photography. The photo set I ended up making, dicey. Not necessarily the strongest photo set I've ever made, but it did kind of tell the story and catch the vibe of the day, which is what I wanted it to do. So those photos were on my Instagram story and they're on my Twitter. So if you want to see them, Twitter is going to be the place to go because the IG story is gone. Anyways though, and there was that one photo in there with the guy looking through the window at the stadium, which you could deep dive on and tell yourself, oh, this is a message about someone feeling left out, feeling like an outsider, not being part of the group. I don't know, or it can just be a terrible photo, however you want to look at it. That's what's good about art. Hands down though, the best photo on the day is the one of the two guys walking into the stadium. That photo does exactly what I wanted it to do. It does exactly what I set out to capture on a day like this. I wanted to get the feeling of a real Atlanta Falcons game day Sunday, and this has it. The guy in the front, he's excited with his mannerism. The guy in the back is showing how clearly hot it is with the towel on his head. He's obviously wearing a Falcons jersey too to establish, hey, this is an actual game day. You got the people in the background adding to the excitement and this photo has that classic street feel that I really wanted to capture yesterday. We got the high contrast from the harsh sunlight. We also have some good classic colors in here. This photo does everything for me and it's one of those photos where I think hopefully maybe in 20 years I'll look back on it and I'll still be able to feel the feelings that I have now and it could be a photo that ages really well. This is something that I'm thinking about more and more lately. I'm reminding myself that hey some photos might not mean as much right Right now but if you let them age like a fine wine they could mean a lot more with time and hopefully this is one of those photos for me so I got out to shoot a little more with this lens tonight walked around for a little under an hour didn't find anything too good didn't want to include it in the video of course as I was driving back to the office though I made this photo right here which is really really cool in my opinion. It's not really a street photo, but whatever, it doesn't matter. This is a prime example of what makes a 24 to 70 such a great lens to use and keep on your camera because I was in my car looking out the window, saw that light on that electrical box, noticed how perfect the composition was, was able to zoom in to right around that 70 range. I might've been at like 60, made that photo. The composition was on point. I was able to control it in the lens and it worked out great. The big drawback though with street photography, look at how bulky and big this lens is. It's not discreet at all. And when I was out doing those street photos earlier in the video, I didn't feel super comfortable because I just knew like everyone could see this camera. It was so obvious that I was doing photography. Not a big deal, but I don't know. So really it's up to you. I can't tell you what to do. 
That's up to you to decide. For me, in my opinion, in rare cases, it's okay to use a zoom like this. You're gonna get good results because of the versatility, but probably a lot of time though, the general size of a zoom lens like this is gonna be a drawback in something like street photography. Feel free though to let me know your thoughts on this discussion in the comments. Is it okay to use non-traditional setups for street photography like a 24 to 70 or even, I don't know, the 70 to 200, some crazy zoom lens? Let me know, love to hear your thoughts. Y'all are the truth. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more photography videos and I will catch y'all next time. Down, down, down.